In the summer, I don't know because uh, it was gated saying that it, that was his old property. Today we are going to walk through the Mackenzie King Estate. It is located in one of our favorite spots, Gatton Hill Park. The information plaques give us a bit of insight and history for the capital region. He's a handsome young fella. <laughs> His career, his political career. The bottom part is English. You got all of it? That's weird enough. Right here, and then you can... It's a four kilometer little hike walk. You can do cross country skiing, snowshoes, or just walk. People were often puzzled by his change of character when he came to visit and build on his estate. After his diary became public in 1950, he even wrote himself that he led a double life. We've been here before quite a few years back in the summertime. We didn't know that uh, we could do it in the winter time too. It's probably about minus 12 right now with the wind. So it's not too bad, it's doable. This is a nice view from here. In the summertime, uh, these buildings are open and it shows it's all set up still from when Mackenzie King was here and it's got uh, like all the, the same furniture, the type of clothes they were wearing back then. It explains all of the, the history and what he's done for the region and all that stuff. It was a cottage for a guest house basically. William Lyon Mackenzie King and his sister, what's her name? The snow's hiding it. And that was in 1923. Jenny. So that shows the layout of the, the cottage picture of when it was in construction in 1903. We discovered that throughout his career, King promoted the need to beautify Ottawa with parks and monuments suitable to a nation's capital. He believed that with careful planning, we could have the most beautiful capital in the world. Part of his plan was acquiring Gatineau Park, and even today Ottawa is a big city with lots of green space surrounding it, and that's part of why we love it here so much. So we came from the bottom there and looped all the way around to those buildings there. Came up here. I think that's the summer house down there where they cooked all the meals and everything. I'm trying to remember from memory.
we're here. And then you go to the waterfalls down there. Back up and then around and back to the parking lot. We just came from the Mackenzie King estate. This is going to the waterfall where a lot of uh, the time Mackenzie King spent his time with his family and friends there. So a waterfall is 600 meters and you get to go through a cool little culvert because it goes underneath the, the road up top. In one of our videos, uh, we were driving through the Gatineau Park and that's the road that's above us right now. It's a little icy. <laughs> oh, look at the little waterfall there. The sound of running water just or trickling water from a, a creek is really relaxing. I could set up camp here tonight and, and sleep here. Ice and snow covered waterfall at the McKinsey King Estate in Gatineau Park, Quebec. If you can see this on the camera, but there's an ice shell over the waterfall and it's still running underneath it. That's quick. We are making our lunch to eat by the waterfall. One good thing about coming on these popular trails in the winter is that there's nobody else here. Well, that was delicious. It heated up in less than two minutes. That worked really good. Surprised because it's not very warm out right now. Snowing right now, we're on a four kilometer, just over two mile walk. And there's a small woodpecker right up in the tree behind us. I'll try to zoom with my phone, but it's uh, he's right there. Water is so clear. Just uh, take it. Here we are admiring the window on the forest.
I never knew that the building was demolished in 1936 in Ottawa and he brought the arch here. What do you mean? And that's just the piece that was recovered from that building, what's inside the green square. We are about to enter the Abbey Rooms. Unfortunately, it looks like humans are the culprit here and managed to destroy the sign. If you have never been to Gatineau Park, it is truly worth a visit. It's one of our favorite places to go and it's always beautiful and relaxing in here. Mackenzie King had pieced together the stone runes from remnants of other buildings. This one's called the Greek Temple on a Hill. He spotted it as it was being removed from a Sandy Hill house about to be demolished, so he saved it and brought it here. <laughs> 